N, N diethyl metatoluamide, abbreviated DEET, is a slightly yellow oil. It is the most common active ingredient in insect repellents. It is intended to be applied to the skin or to clothing, and provides protection against mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, shigers, and many other biting insects. History DEET was developed by the United States Army, following its experience of jungle warfare during World War II. It was originally tested as a pesticide on farm fields, and entered military use in 1946 and civilian use in 1957. It was used in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Preparation A slightly yellow liquid at room temperature, it can be prepared by converting m toluic acid to the corresponding acyl chloride, and allowing it to react with diethylamine. Mechanism and Effectiveness DEET was historically believed to work by blocking insect olfactory receptors for 1-octen-3-ol, a volatile substance that is contained in human sweat and breath. The prevailing theory was that DEET effectively blinds the insect senses so that the biting feeding instinct is not triggered by humans or other animals which produce these chemicals. DEET does not appear to affect the insect's ability to smell carbon dioxide, as had been suspected earlier. However, more recent evidence shows that DEET serves as a true repellent in that mosquitoes intensely dislike the smell of the chemical repellent. A type of olfactory receptor neuron in special antennal sensilla of mosquitoes that is activated by DEET, as well as other known insect repellents such as eucalyptal, linalool, and thigen, has been identified. Moreover, in a behavioral test, DEET had a strong repellent activity in the absence of body odor attractants such as 1-octen-3-ol, lactic acid, or carbon dioxide. Female and male mosquitoes showed the same response. A recent structural study has revealed that DEET binds to Anopheles gambiodorant binding protein 1 with high shape complementarity, suggesting that a gamma 1 is a molecular target of DEET and perhaps other repellents. A 2013 study suggests that mosquitoes can at least temporarily overcome or adapt to the repellent effect of DEET after an initial exposure, representing a non-genetic behavioral change. This observation, if verified, has significant implications for how repellent effectiveness should be assessed. A highly conserved protein member of the ionotropic receptor family, IR40, has recently been identified as a putative DEET receptor in the fly antenna. The neurons expressing IR40 respond to DEET in an IR40 dependent manner. Avoidance to DEET vapors is lost in flies that lack IR40A. Other repellent chemicals that are structurally related to DEET also activate the same receptor and repel mosquitoes and flies, suggesting that this receptor can be used to screen for new repellents. Concentrations DEET is often sold and used in spray or lotion in concentrations up to 100%. Consumer reports found a direct correlation between DEET concentration and hours of protection against insect bites. 100% DEET was found to offer up to 12 hours of protection while several lower concentration DEET formulations offered 3 euro 6 hours of protection. Other research has corroborated the effectiveness of DEET. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends 30 to 50 percent DEET to prevent the spread of pathogens carried by insects. Effects on health, as a precaution, manufacturers advise that DEET products should not be used under clothing or on damaged skin, and that preparations be washed off after they are no longer needed or between applications. DEET can act as an irritant. In rare cases, it may cause severe epidermal reactions. In the DEET re-registration eligibility decision, the United States Environmental Protection Agency reported 14 to 46 cases of potential DEET-associated seizures, including four deaths. The EPA states, It does appear that some cases are likely related to DEET toxicity, but observed that with 30% of the U.S. population using DEET, the likely seizure rate is only about 1 per 100 million users. The Pesticide Information Project of Cooperative Extension Offices of Cornell University states that Everglades National Park employees having extensive DEET exposure were more likely to have insomnia, 
mood disturbances and impaired cognitive function than were lesser exposed co-workers. When used as directed, products containing between 10% to 30% DEET have been found by the American Academy of Pediatrics to be safe to use on children, as well as adults, but recommends that DEET not be used on infants less than two months old. Citing human health reasons, Health Canada barred the sale of insect repellents for human use that contained more than 30% DEET in a 2002 re-evaluation. The agency recommended that DEET-based products be used on children between the ages of 2 and 12 only if the concentration of DEET is 10% or less and that repellents be applied no more than three times a day. Children under 2 should not receive more than one application of repellent in a day and DEET-based products of any concentration should not be used on infants under 6 months. DEET has been found to inhibit the activity of a central nervous system enzyme, acetylcholinesterase, in both insects and mammals. This enzyme is involved in the hydrolysis of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, thus playing a role in the function of the neurons which control muscles. Because of this property, many insecticides are used to block acetylcholinesterase, which leads to an excessive accumulation of acetylcholine at the synaptic cleft, causing neuromuscular paralysis and death by asphyxiation. DEET is commonly used in combination with insecticides and has the capacity to strengthen the toxicity of carbamates, a class of insecticides known to block acetylcholinesterase. These findings bring evidence that, Beside having known toxic effects on the olfactory system, DEET also acts on the brain of insects, and that its toxicity is strengthened in combination with other insecticides. Effects on materials, DEET is an effective solvent, and may dissolve some plastics, rayon, spandex, other synthetic fabrics, and painted or varnished surfaces including nail polish. Effects on the environment, though DEET is not expected to bioaccumulate, it has been found to have a slight toxicity for cold water fish such as rainbow trout and tilapia, and it also has been shown to be toxic for some species of freshwater zooplankton. DEET has been detected at low concentrations in water bodies as a result of production and use, such as in the Mississippi River and its tributaries, where a 1991 study detected levels varying from 5 to 201 NGL. See also, Butibri, Kaikungunya, Citronella oil, DDT and other means of disease vector control, icaridin, lemon eucalyptus, mosquito coil, pamphrin, a pyrethroid, SS220, anthranolate-based insect repellents, references. Further reading, M. S. Fredin. Mosquitoes and Mosquito Repellents, A Clinician's Guide. An Intern Med 128, 931 a Euro 940 DOI. 10.1059 slash 0003 4819 128 11 199 PMIDA 9634433. External links DEET General Fact Sheet, National Pesticide Information Center, DEET Technical Fact Sheet, National Pesticide Information Center. West Nile Virus Resource Guide, National Pesticide Information Center, Health Advisory, Tick and Insect Repellents, New York State, U.S. Centers for Disease Control Information on DEET, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Information on DEET, Review of Scientific Literature on DEET, 1.